Hi, this is Andy from GPS Training. In this video, we're just continuing on from the videos above where we showed you how to create a simple route on our free GPS Training OS Planner. What we're now going to do is transfer this route to a compatible handheld device from a Mac computer using a connected USB cable. If you do have a newer device that is compatible with something like the Garmin Connect app, we have got some videos below that show you how you could simply email yourself a GPX file that you download to your Mac or Windows computer and use Garmin Connect. But we're going to use, rather than the mobile app, a device connected with a USB cable. So I've actually got an eTrex 32X connected to the Mac at the moment. But the first thing I'm going to do is download the GPX file. So the route that I've created, the Simon Side Hills route, I'm just scrolling with my mouse to the very bottom of the Your Route box and I can see the option Download GPX. So on the Mac I'm just going to select Download GPX. That file has now went into the downloads on the Mac. Now on my Mac at the top right of the screen there's a little down arrow that if I click on there it shows you any downloads that have just happened. So if a two finger tap or depending how you've got your mouse set up on your Mac, so two fingers together on my trackpad, I get the option show in finder. I don't want to try and open it because what we need to do is copy and paste or drag and drop this GPX file for the route that we've just created into a GPX folder on the compatible handheld outdoor GPS device that we've got connected to the Mac. So if I just select show in finder that will actually open up finder. Now your other way on a Mac you can find finder is normally from your finder icon which I've got the bottom left of my screen and then it'll open up this finder screen and we're looking for downloads. So it's basically finding the downloads folder in your Mac. Now I know some customers prefer to drag the, the GPX file onto the desktop of the Mac. You could just drag it straight into the folder on the Garmin that we're going to put it into. So actually while I'm in finder you can actually see under devices I've got a Garmin listed. This is actually the Garmin eTrex 32X that I've got connected. If I go into the folder called Garmin, we're looking for a folder called GPX and in the folder called GPX, just in a blank space here, where I can see I've already got a couple of GPX files. That is where I'm going to drop this file. So what I'm actually going to do is go back into downloads and where I've got the Simon Side Hills GPX, I'm just going to drag that onto the desktop for ease. So that is now on the desktop. I'd already done one earlier, so it's just tell me do you want to keep or replace. I'm just going to select replace. So I've got the newer one on the desktop. And now if I just drag this box to the side, you can see, there we go, on the desktop I've got the Simon Side Hills GPX. If I now go where we've got devices and find my Garmin, so it's the Garmin folder I'm looking for. And within that Garmin folder, if you've got a newer operating system, it might actually have the name of your GPS device, such as eTrex32, Oregon 700, GPS Map 65, etc. On the older operating system I've got on this Mac, it simply says under the devices, the word Garmin. Now I'm in the Garmin folder, I'm looking for the folder that says GPX, which I've just found. So I'm double tapping on that to open it up and I can simply drag my Simon Side Hills GPX file from the desktop into that folder called GPX. And now that I've done that, when I close this down and open up the eTrex 32X device in my roots folder will be that GPX file. Also on the desktop of my Mac, I can actually see the Garmin folder there listed as a folder on the desktop. So I could actually locate it that way, go into the Garmin folder that way, the GPX folder that way, and again just drag that GPX file. I've already done it, so I'm not going to do it a second time into the, the actual folder. What I now need to do is eject my device. So underneath devices where I can see the Garmin listed, I'm just going to do the two finger tap and select eject Garmin. The one that says untitled is actually the micro SD card that I've got inside my Garmin. So I can actually eject that as well. And then with both of them ejected, I should be able to safely unplug my eTrex 32X from the computer now. And that is the GPX file sent 
to the device. I didn't give it time to eject there. That's the only reason I've got that message at the top right of the screen. But I hope you found this video useful on being able to download a GPX file from our OS planner using a Mac and then send it to your device. Now that I'm happy it's on my device and I've also got it on the desktop of my Mac, I can simply close this your root box down, select yes, I'm okay to clear that, ready to do my next route. And thanks for watching.